Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. In this video, we're back with the direct impact challenge that Dimitri put together. And I'm just doing these back to back to back, trying the law of cosines method of calculation. And so far it's working pretty well, but let's, uh, let's give it another go. So let's switch camera views here and jump into it. Let's view our flight record. So we have 13 attempts, five successes, and seven crashes, one suffocation. All right. So let's just get into it. So kill rotate immediately. Open the doors. Switch over to VS. Left shift escape. Right shift escape. And let's bring up interplanetary MFD. Let's go to the base approach program. Target Brighton Beach. And let's go to the old reentry program. Let's go to the altitude and set it what we know is correct at negative 2566. And uh, that reentry angle that we had last time, like, absolutely nailed it. I mean, we were, like, meters away. So let's try that again. Again, that probably varies a little bit from flight to flight. But negative 0 0.275. Let's try that again. All right. So we didn't have quite as much time on this one as we did on the other ones, but it's pretty close. Let's start with uh, 3,100. Go down 3,000. So that does increase it, 2,900, increases it quite a bit, hmm. I hate to do 3,000, but let's give it a shot. So 3,000 and immediately burn. I just feel like 3,000 is cutting it really close on time. All right, let's go ahead and log our data. So this is flight number 14. We did 3,000 and we did this one again. So let's go ahead and switch over here. And while that's doing the burn, we can set up our communications. So let's go to ComNav. I guess, well, let's go to GPS B2L since I double clicked. Get that and then go over to ComNav. And again, it's 132.20, but because of the frequency thing, I'm gonna do 132.15 for now. And let's bring up burn time calculator. And as we saw in the last video, it, it makes no difference at all if we set this up now. I should say if we do the calculation now or later, it literally made zero difference. So we're just going to do it now. So let's go ahead and put in our DV according to the reentry velocity, which is 3242. And that helps us solve that part of the triangle. So that's going to give us uh, 201,898. So let's go ahead and Put that into our calculator. 201,898. And our re entry angle is 32.225 for this flight. 32.225 for this flight. And these are our numbers. So we have basically, let's just call that 113 kilometers because it's you know only 7.9 meters difference. So between 113 and 117.5 let's go ahead and round that down to 117 not as afraid of doing that this time as I was last time so 117 kilometers is when we're going to begin the burn and again we'll compare you know how things are with this uh, other silly method that I came up with alright let's switch camera views back over here all right, so we're done with uh, we're done with this. Let's go ahead and bring up our generic camera. Let's go into the retrograde position and back, back, back. There we go. And let's set our hold at something that would make sense. Uh, something like that. I feel like that makes sense when we initially come out of that transition. Okay, so the autopilot's almost done. Go ahead and time warp to give it time to settle. Should be done by now. Turn that off, kill rotate, kill one more time. And now let's go ahead and warp time four down to 400 kilometers so we can compare our numbers because I find that interesting. Okay, we're almost there. Come out of time warp. Let's bring the retrograde back online. 
little bit, a little bit more on the time warp just to get down a bit faster. A little bit more. Okay, so we're almost there. So around 402 kilometers. We'll go down to 0 0.1 so we can type in our numbers. About there. All right, so DV first, the vertical speed, 21, 23. Enter. Give that a second to populate. I think it already has. Control P to pause so we don't get really low. And then plug that value in, which was um, 87,170 meters 87,170 meters and now we'll unpause and we're still at 0 0.1 and we'll put in 3074 for our ground speed give that a moment there it's updated and pause so that's a pretty good range this time that's 100 kilometers so let's go ahead so that's 181,692 meters 181 1,692 meters and let's copy down our equations so if we did the 50% method which is the one that we were leaning towards we would have begun the burn at 134 kilometers according to the law of cosines uh, we should begin the burn under ideal circumstances at 113 but we know you know reaction time engines don't wrap up immediately and we're following a curve instead of a straight line so we add in a bit of buffer on top of that, and we're doing 117. So when the range is, is, is as big as it is in this case, which is you know almost 100 kilometers, you can start to see that this system of 50%, 60% maybe isn't as reliable. But I would imagine you could figure out like, a, like an if-then set, uh, set of percentages. You could say, you know, if your range is less than, you know, 65 kilometers, then then do 50%. If your range is, you know, greater than 65 kilometers, but less than, you know, 90 kilometers, then do, you know, you, you see what I'm saying? You know, we could set up some stuff there and probably, you know, get a, get a, a system that would work really reliably. But, um, but in this case, we're going to try the law of cosines method again. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here and try that out. Let me unpause and go back to real time. So 117 kilometers is when we're going to begin this burn. Uh, we don't need this up anymore, so let's bring up GPS VTOL because this is the most convenient to have up once we are just about ready to touch down. I don't think we're going to get that. Not yet, of course. So let's go here. 117 kilometers is what we're looking for. Let's just check everything out. Retro doors are open. Landing gear is still up. Hold is off, but it's set. Retrograde, we're in rotation. And 170 kilometers is when we're going to begin. 117 kilometers is when we're going to begin the burn. Since I said 170, let me just double check. Make sure, yes, 117. Big difference there. All right, let's warp time forward, get closer to that point. Okay, we're almost there. 117. And burning, I feel like I nailed that one. All right, warp time forward to get through the burn. Hopefully we don't slam into the ground. Ground rush. <laughs> Okay, hmm. Yeah, we, we we gave ourselves so we went to three thousand, which means we don't have as much time to land. But it meant that we used less delta V. Okay, we're almost done with the burn. And stopping the burn now, going level. And let's go to our down cam. Go ahead and put down the landing gear. So we're at three and a half kilometers. We're falling. We're about three kilometers away from the base. Technically, we are moving towards it. Okay, we'll probably go ahead and start holding just to bleed off some of that for now. Okay, that's off. Now I'm going to turn that off and immediately press and hold the period key to get rid of all the hover. 
Okay, we're almost lined up. Translation. Just putting in a bit of translation while we're rotating here. Rotation. Okay, rotation's almost around. Okay. okay. A little bit more forward speed because we're a bit a ways out. And let's go ahead and hold. And I think we'll just go ahead and hold that drop rate. All right. So this is not going to be a record time. So in order to get record time, what we need to do is for our RET, we need to put in the lowest value that we can get away with. But the more time we put in, the less DV we spend on that initial burn. Translation. Rotation. Okay, we're almost over the pad. Landing gear is down. I'll check that again in a second because I'm pretty sure I put it down. Okay, take out some of this. Start slowing things down a little bit. One thousand. Translation. Rotation. All right. Five hundred. Translation. a little bit faster. <clears throat> Check the landing gear. Yes, I did put it down. 300. Audio sputter. 200. Okay, 200. Let's slow things down here a little bit. Okay, we're fine. We have all the time in the world. Don't let the 100. suffocating people distract us. 50. 200 meters. 40. 30. Okay. Let's turn this off. 20. All the time in the world. 10. <coughs> All the time in the world. Okay, go down, break, turn that off, and break. All right, there we go. All right, so cutting a little bit close there on the time because we put in 3,000 seconds. Um, but the advantage of that is, you know, we have a we have a DV surplus. Uh, disadvantage is that you know we're we're cutting it close on time, so there's a balance there. All right, well, we had another success there using using that method. And yeah, we'll, we'll keep trying these. We'll try a few more. Um, and just, uh, I'd say once we have, you know, maybe, let's say 10 out of 10. When we have 10 consecutive successes with no failures, we will, we will consider this, you know, by far the superior method. I mean, I already consider it the by far the superior method, but... Um, you know, we, we need to we need to have multiple successes because we did have three successes in a row using that uh, estimated burn uh, estimated breaking altitude based on percentage. So so maybe we just had three flukes in a row. I don't think so. With all that said, I will see you in the next video. Hit the like button.